Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking you through my best and worst luxury purchases of the past two years. In this video, I'm not gonna be doing some of the bags that I bought in the past six months because I've only had like a couple of seasons wear out of them and I feel like you need to have a full year with most things to kind of work out how much you've actually got the wear out of them unless they've already had an exceptional amount of wear and then I think you know that like it's a really solid purchase. But there's a few kind of smaller bags that I bought around summertime last year and I just don't think I've had them for long enough to know whether they were a best or a worst or maybe just like a okay purchase. There is the obvious example which is the elephant in the room next to me which I'm actually going to talk to you about first but aside from this everything that is featured in this video has pretty much been purchased in 2017, 2018 and there's one no there's two from 2019 but those are like outstanding purchases that i'm very very confident in the fact that they were a good purchase so i'm gonna get started with the best or one of the best and then i will alternate so i won't be doing like all best and then all worst so when i say best this is one of the best a lot of you will know if you watch my videos already that this is one that came into my collection more recently this is the dior book tote i get so much wear out of this almost daily i know a lot of people are like how can you get daily use out of multiple bags because surely you just have one that you wear daily but I don't have like a nine to five job that I go to where I just take one bag I'm in and out of the house and sometimes I'll switch bags depending on what I've got I could be going to the gym and need one bag and then for a meeting I need another bag and then just like to a friend's and maybe I'll take a different bag and then maybe out in the evening so there are lots of different opportunities to get daily wear out of multiple bags so that is kind of why if anyone is wondering and this is one that I would say I get daily use out of any time when I need to take things that are like more than like phone keys card holder headphones what else do I take out anything that's more than your like everyday basics I will take this especially if I know I may be going into town and I might like browse the shops just in case I pick something up I might take this with me because then I don't have to worry about like additional bags if I'm going to London even if I don't want to take my laptop I might take this with me because then if I collect anything out of my PO box I can just pop it in here rather than having to take like another bag all the way home with me it's just a very very practical bag and it has really highlighted to me the need for kind of more practically sized bags in some situations this is definitely something that was lacking in my wardrobe i have my ysl one which is actually bigger than this much like wider which is an amazing bag for when i'm going on holiday this makes a really good one for whether i'm traveling or just everyday use and i really like that it's very very versatile whereas my ysl one is so big that it's more like for travel and then i have another one in this video that is a larger size but an impractical shape so I'll talk you through that one in a minute. This has definitely been a standout. There's very few bags I buy that I get this much wear out of straight away. Sometimes I'll buy a bag and I actually won't get a lot of wear out of it in the very first like couple of months that I buy it and I kind of like grow into it. My Balenciaga City is a bag that I love and is a very good example of that. This I love, it's just so beautiful. It looks amazing with any outfit. I haven't, I'm yet to find an outfit that this doesn't work with and it's super practical. What I would love to get is like a bag organizer i just think that would be really really handy to have for when i need to carry around like multiple things but i'd rather like have sections because uh can i show you this yeah at the moment i just have a lot of stuff kind of rolling around in the bottom so i do think a bag organizer would be great for this but even without one i'm still getting so much wear out of it so i'm very very happy with that purchase it was a lot of money really for what it is so i'm just super happy that i'm getting the wear out of it next i'm going to talk to you about one of the worst purchases that i'm so sad about and that is my ysl lulu bag it is in the red velvet the antique kind of gold hardware it's honestly such a stunning bag i actually think i'm going to be selling this soon someone has actually contacted me about buying this and as much as i love this bag and it has like a real sentimental value to me like i was having a really kind of hard time and i got through it and i had like an amazing kind of like life change and i bought this for myself as like a well done for like getting through that phase sounds really dicky but anyway yeah it just kind of reminds me of like getting through that time and how proud of myself i was and i love it for that but i'm actually just not getting the wear out of it and in terms of like worst purchases in this video they're not necessarily like bad bags it's just they were a waste of money for me and this sadly is like the prime example of that like i really did waste my money on this i've barely worn it it's just like 
basically still new. I think I wore it maybe twice. Because of that, it was in really, really good nick and I'm super, super happy about that. But yeah, just very, very sad that I didn't get the wear out of this one. It's not really much else to say. I do find that it's, it's a good shape. Like it fits a lot in it. So you've got your three kind of compartments. But I do find it just to be a little bit boxy on me and the strap is also, because I'm very, very short, the strap is very long and it's not the easiest to adjust. You can't really, unless you like really kind of fiddle with it, you can't really adjust it because it's kind of gripped in here. So the best you can do in terms of adjusting it is to make it almost top handle. Let me show you. Kind of like that. That is the best I could do with this. And actually that is a way that I probably would get some wear out of it but to be honest i am just at the point now where i just know that the color isn't going to work particularly well in my wardrobe and i'd rather not try and get wear out of it because it is in very very good condition and i'd rather it just had better opportunities now for resale so very very sad to kind of be letting it go at some point soon but i'm excited for her to have a lovely lovely home and yeah i do also think if i hadn't bought my chanel classic flap and i'd got this in the black this would be totally different in terms of the amount of wear that this got would be totally different i actually think that this in a leather if you are looking for uh, sorry i've got an itch in the crease of my nose and it's just not going away i do think that this in a leather with maybe like the silver hardware or actually gold would look gorgeous as well i think that would be a really amazing everyday easy really wearable bag this is just so special and such a beautiful item to have in your collection and i do like as a collector i love having this in my wardrobe it's one of those i've always said it's that bag that like i'm excited to own for when i'm like a grandma and i'm like that rich bougie grandma that's my dream anyway <laughs> fingers crossed i get there if i don't keep wasting my money on bags i will get there but I just don't see the point in having it in my, in my collection when I don't get the wear out of it and it could go to a better home. And I'd rather it had a better home and me regret selling it than keep it in my wardrobe forever and get to a stage where I just, well, I already do regret buying it. So I just rather be at that point where I regret selling it and have the money. Okay, next, a best purchase from 2018, I believe. My YSL tribute heels in the suede i think these have like a specific name because when you type in ysl tribute you have the more caged kind of casing to the foot whereas these are slightly different i've actually found these on a website recently so i'll see if they're still in stock i mean you can tell by the heels like these get a lot of love they need a little bit of cleaning up but i wear these very very regularly like the bottom of them is just super worn i love them i love them so much they give me so much height they're proper like stripper heels i freaking love them because i am five foot one they give me so much height but the platform makes them so comfortable to wear and you've got the support around the ankle and yeah they just fit beautifully as well i have a size five or a european 38 in these fit true to size they are my perfect shoe the suede just makes them look so gorgeous and so like luxurious whereas like, i think leather sometimes i struggle with a little bit i love a suede as you all know lots of my bags i buy them in suede and they go with pretty much everything they work from my own dresses play suits trousers like the whole shebang they just go with everything they're the most comfortable pair of heels i've ever ever owned i have footage which i will not show you but footage of me jumping on a table in ibiza other people were jumping on the table as well it was perfectly allowed it was one of those parties where it I wasn't being disgusting. Everyone was on the tables. Bongo's bingo, if you're wondering, it was just insane. But yeah, I have footage of me literally jumping up and down on the table, like with no issue, no falling. I impressed myself, to be honest. But um, yeah, I was wearing these. They were so comfortable. They've seen me on so many nights out, whether it's like formal or not, in the case of Bongo's bingo. I love them and they were worth every freaking penny. This next pair of shoes, I actually haven't got the wear out of. And I'm so, so sad about this because they are so gorgeous these are the valentino rock stud boots i love them and i think these will always kind of sit in my wardrobe to be honest because they are just so beautiful they're a proper statement pair of shoes and they look gorgeous in my little shoe bag wardrobe 
but sadly I don't get the wear out of these as I would like to. I think if these had a pointy heel, I would get so much more wear out of them. But the fact that they are a more rounded toe, I just don't get the wear. And to be honest, I actually think that is the main reason that I don't get the wear out of these because otherwise they are like my perfect shoe. They're not even too high in terms of the heel height. They're actually quite low. It is a very thin heel and they don't have a platform, which does make them slightly more impractical. I actually think they would be mega uncomfortable if they were any higher. That heel height kind of allows for the fact that there isn't a platform. So yeah, they are lovely. I just don't get the wear out of them and I think I've worn them maybe twice. Okay, this next bag is going to be absolutely no surprise to anyone that it's one of the best purchases in my wardrobe because it is the Fendi camera bag. Like you guys love this bag as much as me. I think this is like the most commonly purchased bag that you guys kind of see in my videos and then go away and purchase. And I think it's for good reason because it is so practical. It's that perfect camera bag size, but it's not the Gucci Soho Disco, no offense to the Gucci Soho Disco because I love that bag. It's a lovely bag, but it doesn't have as much like texture on the front, whereas this has like the monogramming, but it's obviously not canvas. So it's actually really practical in terms of like rain, it wipes clean, like all of that. Whereas the Gucci Soho Disco is a bit more subtle and it's a little bit um, taller as well, like slightly bigger. It is more affordable and it does make it a great option along with YSL camera bags. They are also a fantastic option. This is more expensive being Fendi because Fendi are just like ridiculously priced and I'm not gonna beat around the bush with that. It is the more accessible entry price to Fendi, but it is still very expensive for a camera bag. This was 900 pounds, not the cheapest. No, but for the amount of wear I get out of this, I really can't complain at all. This is one of the ones that I would say I get daily wear out of. I actually use it more as a gym bag. Not as a gym bag so much, I would class it more as a kind of casual athleisure bag. So anytime that I'm wearing something very casual and like leggings, boots or leggings trainers, like anything that is super, super casual, I pair it with this. But also like a neutral outfit as well, um, I'll pair it with this, but it is one of those more everyday, very casual bags, but I love it because it just makes those outfits just a little bit more special, but it also isn't super like in your face as well. I have actually styled this up in a more dressy way. I will try and find a picture and insert it here. I did it with a snake print skirt, snake print boots it was fashion week and a white blazer and it looked incredible but yeah it can be dressed up or dressed down it's just a really great everyday bag it fits so much in it i can do it's just got a load of junk in it at the moment but i can do phone vlogging camera um i've actually done two phones in here before vlogging camera card holder keys like the whole shebang all of your everyday bits fit in there and i love it don't know what this is doing though that's being annoying. The strap is also detachable as well, which is amazing because if you say you fell out of love with this, and I always feel like a bit wanky saying this because it sounds so poncy, but you could, if you didn't want to sell it and you fell in love with it, you could either use it as a clutch or a makeup bag. So, you know, it, it will still have its use in years and years and years to come. But until then, I wear it enough now anyway, so I don't really see myself having that issue. I think I will probably own that forever and probably be buried with it. That would probably happen if I died. I think Lauren would have me buried with the Fendi as like a lol and then she'd keep my Chanel. On the flip side, a smaller little kind of camera bag that I actually haven't got the wear out of is my YSL. Whoa, there's a lot of crap in there. This is the YSL belt bag. So the strap on this can be used as like an over the shoulder strap. It just kind of falls a little bit differently or you can have this around your waist. It does work really nicely if I want to wear like a blazer and belt it, but then I also want the extra little bag. It is really cool in terms of like jazzing up an outfit that way. And it's great at festivals and just any time like travel sometimes, like I can get away with this in an airport as like an extra bag that they never notice because it's always like strapped around my waist. It's almost like an extra big pocket. It is very, very good for when you need to have just a few things that are literally strapped to you, but I just don't find that I get as much wear out of this as I do my other bags. And for the price, I think it was about 700 pounds. It fits far less than the Fendi camera bag. Let me show you comparatively. Far, far less. Uh, it's like, sh this could fit completely inside the Fendi bag. So it fits, just about fits my phone and a vlogging camera, I believe. I mean, my vlogging camera is in use right now, but yeah, even getting a phone in there is like, not ideal. So I would say phone, vlogging camera, a small set of keys, and it has um, a card holder slot in there, thank God. So you don't need a card holder. So that is like it's saving grace. But yeah, it really doesn't fit a lot. So it is only really practical for when you need like the bare essentials strapped to you. And because of that, I just don't really get as much use out of it as I would like. But I did wear it a fair bit last summer, as and when I could, just to try and get the wear out of it. It holds up really well, I have to say. There's not a scratch on this. It is basically like 
it looks exactly how it did the day I got it, which I'm very happy about. And I do love the fact that it's YSL, but it's very like understated. It's just got the YSL in the black hardware, black quilted, almost like a chevron front. It's really beautiful, a great classic, something that I probably won't get rid of anytime soon because it's just a really nice easy piece in my collection. I do wish that it had just like two little bits here and maybe like a chain because that would be so cute if you could just like attach a really cute chain. Even if it was like a silver version of this, that would be really cute and just make it a little bit more practical for just flinging over your shoulder because to take a belt bag on and off is a massive faff. So what I found myself doing was doing up the buckle very, very loosely like that and then just like either throwing it across that was like my favorite way was to have it like that or sometimes i would just like fling it over my shoulder but it does just mean it sits a bit funny so yeah i don't get as much wear out of it and because of that and the price point i would say it was a waste of money i'm just looking at all of my bags very practically at the moment and really kind of assessing what i want to spend my money on more this year and to be honest if i'm going to be very very honest about this i really don't see myself buying anything that is not a very top of the range bag like chanel dior i even think like dior doesn't hold its value that well but chanel really does i believe my chanel boy is actually now worth more than it was when i bought it and it's in very good condition so if i can keep it up and i ever want to sell it the resale on that is going to be very good and i just feel better about putting my money into something like that versus something that i'm gonna you know pay 700 pounds for and not be able to resell it for very much at all so yeah practically looking at this in that way i do think it was a waste of money but we'll see i might get more wear out of it as the years go on however belt bags are a trend so i'm not holding out hope on the topic of chanel i thought i'd get this one out the way she's heavy she's got stuff in her this is the chanel jumbo i believe it's funny when you buy these i don't actually always tell you what they're called so i believe this is the jumbo because i've seen the classic flap in the medium size and it's definitely smaller than this but i've also seen people have the jumbo and it looks huge but i believe that's like the maxi or the jumbo maxi or something like that i'm not an expert but i believe this is the jumbo but there is always questioning when I show this and call it the jumbo because people think it's meant to be so much bigger. But I have it in the quilted leather silver hardware, which was an excellent decision on my part, in my opinion. I just think because it is such a luxe bag, the silver kind of casuals it down a bit and makes it feel a little bit more wearable in my wardrobe. Like I don't feel overdressed when I put it on. It has so much space in it. <sighs> wow a lot of grab in there it's wearing well so far i am trying to take very 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 good care of this because chanel does hold its value very 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 well and if i ever did want to sell this it would go for a good amount of money and that makes me feel good about uh the amount of money that this cost me so yeah there's that i can't remember exactly how much this was because i paid for it in euros and it's always a little bit tricky i always tend to buy my chanel in rue cambon store in paris i don't know why i just always do that now and i get really funny about if i want to buy a chanel bag i only really want to do it if i'm in paris so i can go to that store and i don't know what it is about that store that makes me want to do that i just love it in there the service is just great they're so lovely but yeah i wear this so much i think because of the size of it and obviously the color or lack of is very well suited to my wardrobe so any more formal occasion any meetings that i go to i generally take this with me i don't tend to use this daily because i would say on a casual everyday basis i wouldn't use this but for anything where i just want to feel quite nice i get this out and i just love her but aside from the quilted leather it's actually a very practical bag for me in terms of size and the fact that it has the chain which i can just throw over my shoulder you can make it a longer chain as well but i actually have never done that i've never wanted to do that i think because it's bigger so i don't want to wear it cross body and i would say that that is the same for the ysl lulu bag as well and that's why i don't get the wear out of her because i like that i call them all her i don't get the wear out of her because i can't make the chain shorter like you can with the classic flap jumbo so if you are looking to buy a luxury bag that is definitely something i would think about is how you want to wear that strap and whether it's versatile enough for you and also if the size is right for the strap length i think that's where my downfall has been in the past is like sizing and strap length so they're definitely two things that i take into consideration so much now when i buy a bag ideally it would have a top handle and some kind of longer strap and i think that is my ideal next up we have a bag that I know you guys love so much, but unfortunately I've just not really got the wear out of this so much. This is the Chloe Tess bag. I got this for myself for Christmas at the end of 2018. So this is 
over a year old now and honestly i could probably count on my hands the amount of times i've worn it i do think rounder bags so like this the chloe drew they're not so practical in terms of their size because you can't really get as much into them i literally have a single train ticket in there which just shows how much it gets used i do love the fact that it has the top handle because sometimes in summer i found myself really like just using it for its top handle i like the really thick strap on it it's one of my favorite things about the bag to be honest i sometimes think if i had this in the nude maybe i'd get more wear out of it or like that grazy kind of taupey tone that they do but if i'm honest the rounded shape to it is very very soft and i don't love that I don't know what it is. I just don't think it suits me. And I do think there's a lot going on on it as well. Like there's a lot of different hardwares and loops and everything. I just think it's too much for me. And if I'm honest, I have found that after purchasing this, I was looking at the bags that I don't use so much. And a lot of them that weren't getting the wear were by Chloe. So I've actually decided to, as much as I love the brand and it's such a pretty, really beautiful brand, I've stopped buying from them because I do just think that I'm wasting my money a lot on their products so i've had to like take a step back and stop footwear still love them for that some of the best especially in the summer the chloe susanna boots i'm not getting the most wear out of sadly i might give them to my mum though because she actually just picked up a pair from new look the other day that looked the exact same and i was like oh do you like this style and she was like yeah and i was like oh well, i've got a pair quite a snazzy pair at home of these so i think maybe they'll make their way to her at some point if i need to like make some space in my wardrobe but for the summer i love their sandals they are so great so i'm not stopping myself buying from chloe entirely because it is a brand that's so beautiful and i love but their bags i do just find that are a bit of a waste of money and they're sadly the ones that don't get worn as much in my collection okay last i believe this is the last bag in the best section it's black so my lighting is probably gonna go crazy but this is the prada backpack i sadly can't find this anywhere people ask me to link it all the time i know you guys love it as well as me but sadly i can't i can't find it i don't think they do this anymore i've never seen it in vista village either so i think that it sold fairly well but it's a velvet backpack and it's a quilted i don't know if you can see it's not really showing up on camera very well it's like a quilted texture and it's very very 90s it's so beautiful i love it so much i do get a lot of wear out of this this is one that if i am going out on a more casual basis and i want to take more stuff than i would be able to take in my fendi bag this would be my step up so i wear this in brighton for a lot of casual kind of occasions i do find in brighton i don't like to wear a lot of my super super dressy bags if i'm wearing like a very very nice snazzy bag it's usually smaller and a bit more discreet because otherwise i just feel really really over the top because it's such a casual kind of like almost boho city i just really feel very overdressed but this one doesn't make me feel that way and i just find it to be so practical it's obviously not if i get caught in the rain i will actively like take my coat off and put it on over my backpack and look really really weird to avoid this getting too much water damage but unfortunately this has got a bit of water damage on it because i got caught in the rain once and then i think a week or a month later someone spilt a gin all over my bag patted it dry with like a towel and then looked at me and went oh it's not real is it it was a sad moment i'm tearing up thinking about it but to be honest it was already very very worn and well loved by that point anyway and i just think it will always be i say this a lot it really reminds me of my mum. she used to have a backpack like this not prada but a backpack in this very style when i was a kid i really i remember her always having it it had like a top handle and the little pockets like at the front and the buckle and it always just reminds me of her so i think even as i get older this will just always be something that i have in my collection because it just makes me think of her and yeah it's just beautiful i do love it i love how luxe it feels because it's velvet and then it has the gold accents it's just one of those items in my collection that i'm very very fond of and i do go through phases where i get daily wear out of this as well so yeah I just i really love this one i have a lot of love for it and the final bag is also from prada it is the i don't know what this is called actually it's a tote bag by them it's like a canvas so it's very very practical it's in black again practical it has like buttons that like open up like this it has detachable straps with a cute stripey strap as well i'm trying to get more wear out of this at the moment but to be honest i don't if i am taking a big bag i just much rather take this one the reason that i actually bought my ysl so soon after having bought this one was because 
when I put a laptop in this bag, so like if I want a hand luggage bag, for example, and I want to take my laptop and a plane with me, my laptop actually sticks out over the top of this bag. And I was just finding that you could, you could just really tell I was carrying a laptop around and I just don't really like that. I don't like for people to be able to see what is in my bag so well. And I was just really finding you could. You also can't really zip it up in any way. So you can really see into the bag when I'm carrying it around. And I just didn't really love that. So as much as it was practical in terms of its colour and material, it just wasn't the best in terms of uh, its actual structure. It's still in really good nick. I probably will be selling it at this point. I'm trying to get a bit more out of it at the moment before I do just to like make sure. I love how it looks and I love when it's like sitting in my dressing room. It looks very pretty but I'm just not getting the wear out of this so much just because I think I have more practical bags now but when I didn't I would use this all the time and it was like my perfect going away bag and everything but now that I have my Dior tote and then my even bigger Saint Laurent Rive Gauche bag I just don't see myself getting the wear out of this one and I don't even get the wear out of like this long strap either it's just not necessary I don't think when you've got a bag like this that is this big and that you're filling with stuff this is available now in more of like a basket bag shape but I think in the same material and I do think that's a bit more of a practical shape but I know some people will absolutely love like I loved this when I first got it because it did this and I do prefer that shape it allows you to get a lot more in it but the other ones that they have now are a little bit longer and in this shape and I think that that's quite like it feels a bit less boxy and I really like that whereas this did feel very very boxy to me it's very square on the bottom you can see it's got a really nice little gold feet but yeah I'll probably be selling this at some point I might put it on stories but if not it will go on vestiaire i think and either way if it does i will let you know make sure you follow my instagram because that is kind of where i will alert you first if anything goes on sale if i'm selling anything like privately or even if it does go on vestiaire i'll do a story but yeah that is the last of my worst luxury purchases of the past year i'll definitely be doing an updated one of these towards the end of the year and discussing some of the bags that i bought kind of summer to late 2019 i'm having to really think about the years right now yeah i'm really excited for that and see what i get the most wear out of also to see what i purchased this year as well i don't know i have a hernia every time i think about buying a new bag at the moment so we'll see it might not happen <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, I hope you guys found this useful if you were thinking of buying any of these bags. And even if you're not, I hope you found this entertaining or informative in some way anyway. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. And please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more and you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon.